President Biden's first G7 summit as America's president also marks the first time those world leaders have gathered in person since the start of the COVID pandemic. Want to know a little more about the group and why it exists in the first place? You came to the right show. It's called G0 after all. The G7 actually began as the G6. How do you like that? When the leaders of France, West Germany at that point, the USA, Japan, the UK, and Italy met in a chateau, Zutalor, outside of Paris to squabble their way out of an oil shock and financial crisis. They had so much fun, they agreed to do it every year. They even let Canada join the party in 1976, which was surely a mistake, making it the G7. But in the 1980s, Cold War politics took over and the focus shifted eastward to Tehran and Moscow. Longstanding conflicts between Iran and Iraq turned into all-out war, and a Soviet boondoggle in Afghanistan captured the group's attention. The G7 became defined as much by what it stood against communism, authoritarianism, as what it stood for. After the Soviet Union fell in the 1990s, a newly humbled Russia got the invite and joined, which made it the G8 for a while, but you knew that wasn't gonna last. In 2014, with President Putin's decision to invade Crimea, the other seven said Dasvidanya, Paka, Uvidimsa. Yeah, I speak Kremlin. In the years since, internal divisions and the rise of alternative institutions such as the G20 have led the world to question the G7's relevance, even though it still represents around 40% of global GDP, but only 10% of the world's population. And we know that's not sustainable. Oh, and there's China, which has never been a part of the G7, whose rise poses an economic, ideological, and security challenge to the group. But as we've told you, this recent summit will surely be one of the most important. And how they handle the converging crises, as President Biden has said, of vaccine distribution, economic recovery, and climate change will be the test of whether the G7 matters, especially in our G Zero world.